Two major stars went down with injury over the past couple of days, and the timelines have been revealed upon their recoveries for both LaMelo Ball and LeBron James. So we'll discuss that in this video, as well as the Toronto Raptors making a major signing, and Carl Anthony Towns is getting eyed across the NBA in terms of his future with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So lots of stuff to break down. Without further ado, let's jump to the first topic of discussion. The first thing we're taking a look at is LeBron James and LaMelo Ball suffer serious injuries and unfortunately this weekend we'll talk about the lamella ball uh, one first yesterday last night uh, lamella ball heard a pop in his ankle and end up going down with a non-contact uh, sort of injury and unfortunate news has come out today as Sh shams reported the lamella ball will miss the remainder of the season with a fractured right ankle Ball has tried uh, multiple left ankles, has had multiple left ankle sprains over the course of the season, and suffering a right ankle fracture on Monday night. So this is a uh, very, very unfortunate news for Lamelo Ball, who is one of the bright up-and-coming stars in the NBA, one Rookie of the Year, is a guy that you know on the Charlotte Hornets team that. We're hopeful coming into the year or prior to the offseason that they might be able to take a step forward into the playoffs, but then obviously the Miles Bridges stuff happened. Their coach that they hired ended up uh, changing his mind, Kenny Atkinson, and staying with the Golden State Warriors. And they've just dealt with a lot of drama off the court and a lot of injuries. And it, it's just been an unfortunate year. And probably the worst part about it has been LaMelo Ball just being out there on the court because even during a tanking season, even during a year that's sort of a write-off for your team, it's always fun to watch your star play and honestly the Charlotte Hornets have been winning some games as of late so it was nice that they were getting a little late season push maybe carry some momentum into next season to figure out all the stuff that's going on with their you know LaMelo Ball's co-star if they want to replace him what they want to do in the future but now him suffering this uh, right ankle fracture just sucks for this team now it might help their uh, tanking chances but the fact that Melo Ball has been dealing with a lot of ankle issues on both legs over the course of this year might be a little bit discouraging for a Hornets fan going forward, dealing with, you know, we saw what happened to his brother, Lonzo Ball, who went down with an injury midway through last year and has been out since that point, missed all of the second half of last season, all of this year, so... Uh, hopefully it's not the the big bowler gen genetics coming down with injuries and stuff, but wishing LaMelo Ball the best. And LeBron James, as Marcel discussed in yesterday's video, uh, went down with an ankle injury as well against the Dallas Mavericks over the weekend on Sunday's game. And you know while he was able to finish that game, which had Lakers fans hopeful that he'd be fine, news came out today that Lakers star LeBron James is likely to miss an extended period of time with this right foot injury. LeBron James suffered his injury in Sunday's game over the Dallas Mavericks, and the belief is he'll be sidelined for an indefinite amount. And Shams went on to report, and Woj also discussed how this could be anywhere from a couple weeks to a whole entire month to close out this season. Now, the Lakers are in a push position to sort of uh, push their way to the middle of the pack of the Eastern Conference. They're currently out of the play-in picture, but, you know, well, out of the currently play-in uh, seeding, but they uh, can easily push their way in. I mean, the seeds 13 through 5 in the Western Conference are only separated by a few games, so... They were looking good. The Lakers were winning some games. That big one against the Dallas Mavericks. And AD has started to come back into form after dealing with some injuries himself over the course of this year. You know, the Vandalorian was a nice pickup. D'Angelo Russell has also been in and out of the lineup. But they have, uh, you know, they made the right moves of the trade deadline. They're hoping LeBron James coming back. They can make a push. News came out yesterday. Marcel kind of got cut off at the end of the video. But how the Lakers are trying to push, jockey themselves to play the Sacramento Kings in the first round. An inexperienced team. But... I don't know. It's unfortunate stuff. LeBron James going out. Maybe fortunate for the other teams of the Western Conference that have been struggling as of late. But do you guys think that the LeBron-led uh, Lakers or the LeBron-less Lakers will be able to make the playoffs, make the play-in if he is not available to close out most of the regular season? Let me know in the comment section below. Next thing we're taking a look at is teams eyeing Carl Anthony Towns. Now, Big Cat is a player that... It's an interesting season, and it's in an interesting situation. He signed a big extension with the Minnesota Timberwolves recently, and, you know, it seemed like his future was pretty intact with uh, the Timberwolves, and last season was an encouraging step for the franchise as Anthony Edwards was emerging as a star. They had a nice core roster. We just talked about the Vandalorian, but, uh, you know, they had a lot of guys that helped this team have a fun season last year and make a little push in the play-in and the playoffs and had a good series against Memphis Grizzlies in the first round last postseason. But unfortunately, after giving up their entire future to acquire Rudy Gobert, they aren't much better off in terms of the standing, still similarly in the play-in play picture. And it seems like a weird fit with Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns in the front court. Now, 
you know, they just acquired Mike Conley and they, they're trying to you know, turn things around this season to make a push to get out of the play-in as a lot of teams are in the Western Conference. But Carl Anthony Towns, the Rudy Gobert pairing doesn't seem like an optimal fit in the future. And given all the assets the Minnesota Timberwolves gave to pick up Rudy Gobert, teams have been eyeing on uh, Carl Anthony Towns' future there with the organization, the Minnesota Timberwolves. As uh, news has come out, the teams are eyeing Carl Anthony Towns' situation in Minnesota, according to Zach Lowe, as there's questions whether or not he'd be willing to, the Timberwolves would be willing to shake up their roster in the future to, uh, you know, maybe end this fitting of uh, Towns and Gobert, which has been a little bit awkward down with the Timberwolves. Now, they've had ups and downs. There's been moments where this pairing has looked decent, right? They completely just crushed their depth in the trade to acquire Rudy Gobert, but it's, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Early stuff here, whenever there's any rumblings, that can turn to smoke and that could turn to fire. And Given the amount of star players that are moved every offseason and stuff, it seems like Carl Anthony Towns is one of those next guys that could potentially get moved. So keep your eye on Minnesota in the coming seasons to see if uh, that Towns go bear pairing lasts very long. But the next thing we're taking a look at is the Toronto Raptors make a major signing. Now, we looked at this a little bit on the Raptors side, just but... This is uh, pretty exciting stuff as a Raptors fan myself. The Raptors, this trade deadline, were expected to kind of blow up their roster given all the reports that were coming out, but they held form. They kept their core. Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, and Pascal Siakam ended up acquiring Yaka Pirtle, adding to that core. Now, a little bit of a risk as the team has not had a lot of success this season, and Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., and Pirtle could all be free agents this offseason. So they're making a push for this year, and... They're only going uh, pushing their chips all in all to the table. As news has come out uh, from Woj and Shams that Will Barton is signing with the Toronto Raptors after completing a buyout with the Washington Wizards. He'll be eligible for the playoff roster and he's playing 29 postseason games with the Nuggets and the Portland Trailblazers. So this is pretty big news. This is pretty big news as a... Uh, you know, Will Barton is a guy that fits sort of exactly what the Toronto Raptors need. They need shooting. They need shot creation off the bench. News also came out that they waived Juancho Hernan Gomez to fill out this roster spot. And with exception of Fred Van Vliet, and we've seen it with him being out in recent games, Gary Trent Jr., really, there's no natural real shot creators on this roster. Pascal Siakam has sort of developed into it. OG can do it at times, but consistently, night in, night out, right? The Raptors need a little bit more of creation. Now, this doesn't just mean spot-up three-point shooting, as uh, the Raptors don't run a lot of sets for three-point shooters. They need guys that can sort of create their own buckets, and Will Barton gives the Toronto Raptors exactly that. I mean, this season, the stats aren't absolutely uh, off the charts, off the charts remarkable, right? You pull them up here, right? Seven, eight points per game, three rebounds, 2.4 assists. He's an underrated passer as well, but uh, 38% from behind the three-point line, and he can hit some tough shots, which is a nice thing to see, and he isn't completely sorry on defense, right? He's got kind of long arms. He's pretty athletic and stuff, so the fact that uh, he'll be able to sort of create his own looks in these Nick Nurse systems will be, uh, hopefully give some uh, valuable addition. It'd be a valuable addition for the Toronto Raptors. The big question is, will he actually get run? Because Nick Nurse loves to run very tight rotations, but I think Will Barton being a veteran coming into this team, I think Given, I mean, the guy averaged close to 15 points last season for the Denver Nuggets. He'll be a cool fit for this Raptor squad, but let me know what you guys think about that acquisition. The final thing we're taking a look at in this video is uh, Nerlens Noel bought out by the Detroit Pistons. Now, Nerlens Noel has been uh, away from the Detroit Pistons given the fact that they have a glut at the center position. And James Wiseman, he's just acquired this uh, trade deadline. They had Jalen Duran, who's dealing with some injuries right now, right? They trade away uh, Kelly Olenek in the offseason. I'm missing up the timelines and stuff but they've had some guys they've had some guys that play the center position marvin bagley that's the name i'm forgetting slip in my mind he's been putting up solid stat lines as of late a big game against the toronto raptors this first detroit piston at back-to-back -back, uh, 2010 games in recent uh memory so you know they got some bigs they got some bigs there in detroit the fit wasn't really there with uh nerland snowell news came out today that uh the the detroit pistons have completed a contract buyout with nerland snowell can join a team become playoff eligible for whatever roster he joins now Nerlens Noel will be interesting because he is a guy that can provide some solid defense for any given roster right 2.2.3 points per game 2.6 rebounds nothing too hot right there but even in his limited minutes right 0.6 blocks a night close to a steal a game right he had a pretty solid season with the New York Knicks a couple years ago so maybe a team could fill him in as an insurance big man I mean 
The Montres Harrell experiment hasn't been working out that well with the Philadelphia 76ers. Maybe they want another backup center, right? Who really knows? But a guy that can come in, be long, play some defense, it could be an interesting piece in the open market. But let me know what you guys think about all this NBA news. Subscribe to Courtside Digest. We want to stay up to the latest in the NBA. Anyways, I'm signing out. Cheers.